is one that we've talked about quite a few times because we need to have the space to have virtual manipulatives, right? In the physical classroom, we're used to having all kinds of manipulatives. We have the little geo boards, we have the fraction strips, we have the spinners and the timers and the, the wreck and wreck and the dice and all that, right? But in a virtual environment, especially for any students that we have that we're teaching virtually, where do we have those manipulatives? Because we can't send all that home, right? Or even in our physical classroom right now, having to sanitize everything in between every single kid touching it would just be a nightmare. So instead, toy theater is a great place that has those virtual manipulatives for your students in one place. So let's kind of take it a step further. We were talking about um, perimeter a while ago with our quizzes lesson. So let me go and click on the perimeter here. And so here you can see that I actually have squares that I can pull in. And so we can pull this one in and say, this is one by one by one by one. So the perimeter is four. Well, I can go in and add more squares. And so I can actually build this just like the one that I had a while ago with my question in my quizzes. So that one was three by three by three by three, right? And so that gave me the perimeter of 12. So I'm able to take what I did a while ago in that quizzes lesson, but then let my students kind of play around with those blocks and be able to pull that in. So again, that's just one tiny little, one single manipulative built into toy theater, um, but just awesome, awesome things here. You have coin flips, um, you have a wreck and wreck here, you have hundred charts. I mean, it just keeps going. There are tons of things on here. Um, I love the fraction strips because I feel like those are just so important for you to be able to show that two halves equal a whole and so on. So again, that is definitely something worth checking out. So that is toytheater.com.